Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lecter24 and uh, I'm here to talk about 40k. Specifically say, well, 40k news. Uh, I say news, I'm kind of late to the party on this one. I'm doing this quite late at night and it's just, uh, just something I want to really discuss and explore. Uh, Games Workshop are releasing a new peripheral to the 40k game. I think it's called Urban Battles or Urban Conquest or something like that. Basically it's an expansion to the game of 40k but it uses like Cities of Death rules for games that give you like bonuses to height, there's hardcover, there's softcover. It looks quite interesting to be fair, it might be something I'd be looking at picking up. That's not the thing we're talking about. What we're talking about is the image on the box itself. Now, people have noticed very quickly, like I say, this is old news by now, I'm just throwing my hat to the ring and just giving my opinion on it. But people have noticed that there appears to be a new model, possibly, depicted on the box. Now, the box basically, is, you know, it's got the old Ultramarines versus, I think it's Ultramarines? Yeah, it could be. Space Bros versus Chaos. And down in the center, in the center of the picture, at the back, there appears to be what looks like a big spider thing, and people have uh, obviously been going quite excited. That this could potentially be a new model for the Chaos range, some kind of like defiler thing, but not quite demonified. Well, it is demonified. It's, it's going to be a giant evil spider robot thing, but yeah, people. Have you know, seen that, I think, ooh, perhaps we're going to get a new, a new, like, dreadnought-sized evil robot spider for Chaos, and, you know, that's cool. I mean, I hope you do get that. Sounds cool. Giant robot spiders are always nice. Um, it's just, I think that people could just be hoping a bit too much on this one. Like I say, guys, I mean, fingers crossed I'm pulling for you. It's nice when any army gets a new model. Some armies get more updates than others. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, it's good when any army gets an updated model range or a new model or a new toy to play with. It's just better for everyone. It's better for the hobby, really, in general. But when it comes to chaos, I think that Games Workshop would be much better suited to just updating the range and that goes not just for chaos but there are several other armies as well that they're in dying need of having some of the models updated i mean uh, i thought this would uh, chaos would have been fully updated by now because obviously they did uh, the death guard one they've done the thousand sons one i would have thought it would they'd have rolled out by now uh, empress children and what's the other one world eaters world eaters and just updated the bog standard chaos range in general just to make them, I don't know, bigger, bulkier, just to go in line with the new updated models from the previously mentioned codexes and armies. I mean, I thought we we saw a little bit of that in the Blackstone Fortress box set game, because you had uh, new Black Legionaries in there, and they look mwah, really, really good. So I think Games Workshop would probably be better served doing that, just a dating the old stuff in Games Workshop. I mean, some things need a lot more dating than others. I've done the spoiler, for example, is the common thing brought up. It's like, you've got updated Mac Calgar now, you've got Primarchs, and Abaddon is still rocking the stupid haircut he had, like, 10 years ago, or whatever it is. I mean, just updates, just update what needs updating first before releasing anything new. I mean, like I say, don't, I'm not saying don't release the Spider Tank, I'm just saying that it probably should be a priority for chaos right now. Just update the stuff you got and then get the new stuff. That said, spider tank would be nice. I mean, I know you've got a scorpion tank. That's from Forge World. That brass scorpion, I think it's called. I think, whatever. So, you know, I mean, it's not like anyone has a monopoly on spider robots. Well, I suppose Necrons kind of do, but you know, yeah, it's a demon robot spider. So, completely different and nothing at all like robot spiders to uh, necrons have but then again again guys this could just be a picture sometimes a picture is just a picture some nice illustration to help sell the box and it's a very nice illustration i mean i could probably flick to the 
nice pictures in my terminal codex and see all sorts of potentially new bioforms that could potentially be released. But the, what I'm really trying to get at, guys, is don't don't expect it. Because if you expect it and you don't get it, you're only going to get disappointed. If you just, you know, look at this like from this angle. If you think you don't, you're not going to get it, and you do end up getting it, you'll only be pleasantly surprised. And, you know, you would be disappointed. But, like I said, fingers crossed, guys. I'm pulling for you. The, you know, the game's always got room for more robot demon spiders. Or just any kind of robots at all. Robots in general. Just more robots, I suppose. Uh, unless they're mech. Uh, no, I think they could do with more robots as well. Those Castle things. Are they called Castle? No, I don't know. Just, well... More robots, basically. Cheers, guys. Anyway, again, sorry for the audio quality. I'm doing the best with what I got. And, you know, it's just a headset in a room. I'm, it's not fancy. But, hey, I'm not a fancy kind of guy. Thanks for listening, guys. And I hope to catch you next time. Cheers.